Hi everybody, I am That Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to perform trach care. So let's go to the lab. Wash our hands. Provide patient privacy. Verify name and date of birth. And then it matches what's on their wristband. So this is the right patient. So we have our patient here. We're gonna let them know that we're going to be uh, doing some trach care. So cleaning out their trach. What they have going on here is their trach collar. So this is providing them oxygen. They have their dressing, their finistrated dressing, which you can tell looks a little bit dirty and needs to be changed. And then they have this here, which is their trach ties, which is keeping it in place. Now, before we start, I wanted to show you something. I'm just gonna take this out of the mannequin for a sec. So this is the inner part, and then here's the outer part. There are a couple different trachs that you will see. Um, some have a turn and lock mechanism. Some are a little bit more like this. So there's gonna be a variety. Some don't have this part at all. They're just the outer part, and that's okay too. So they're all gonna look a little bit different. This, what really this is, is like a safety thing. So this is kind of just like an extra backup safety thing in the trach to prevent like mucus or any other like airway obstructions. So this is just kind of like a double check safety thing, but not all trachs have these. And this is the thing that we had to take out to clean. So I'm gonna put it back in here. And we're gonna start from the beginning. So we have our trach kit and our normal saline. This is gonna be partially sterile. So what I recommend is opening your normal saline first. and then setting it off to the side. Then you can open your kit. Remember when we open a sterile kit, we open it away from ourselves. Now we gotta put our gloves on. And these are a little big on me, but that's okay. Okay, so now we have our gloves on. Now we need to make our sterile field. So we'll open this. Shiny side is down. And since this little bit folded, it stays. We just leave it, okay? Then we can take out all of our supplies. I'm gonna show you what all these supplies are and what they're for. So this first one is to clean the inner cannula. These next two are going to be to clean around the site closest to where the trach is inserted. These pipe cleaners are to clean the cannula if this big brush is a little too big. Sometimes they're a little too big, so you can use the pipe cleaners instead. Here's a clean trach tie. Now, most places do not have their trach patients with trach ties like this. This is kind of old school. Um, nowadays we have Velcro, which is much, much nicer. <laughs> So we're just gonna get rid of this. We don't need this for today. Then we have a finistrated dressing. So this is our dressing with the little slit in it. So this is our new clean one. And then we have some more four by fours for cleaning. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna get one of our hands dirty and we're gonna keep the other one sterile. What I recommend is using your non-dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, use your left hand and make that one your dirty hand. So what I'm gonna use my left hand for first is to pour my normal saline into my bucket here. And then I'll pour it in all three quadrants, all three little things, and then I don't need it anymore. Now I'm gonna use my left hand because it's my contaminated hand to move the trach collar away, right? because this is dirty. So move that off to the side. You can just kind of unclip it 
and then kind of move it off to the side. You want it readily available because the patient is going to need oxygen. So when you're done doing what you're doing, you can move it back real quick. Now I can remove the inner cannula and I'm allowed to touch just this outer portion with my non-sterile hand. So when I take it out, I'm not going to touch any of this. And just when you take it out, make sure you're very careful that you're not like, oh no, and you hit their chin or you hit their gown or something like that. So when you take it out, be very careful and only touch that portion. So we've taken this out, now we're ready to wash it. Be sure to give them that oxygen while you're doing that. So move the trach collar back, but still only using that one hand because you can't use your sterile hand. Now we're ready to wash it. So we're gonna take it and put it in our first one, wash it, and then we can take our little um, cleaner here and get in there and get all the gunk out and clean it really good. Now we're done with that bit. Now we'll rinse it in one of the other smaller buckets, tap it dry, and now it's clean, it's ready to be replaced. Now we need to put it back. So we'll get rid of this. And put it back in. Good. Now we don't have to be sterile anymore and we can clean everything else. So one of the first things you want to clean is the big stuff, right? So get rid of this old yucky dressing, okay? Take one of those four by fours, dip it in your other tray. Remember we had the three compartments and we only used two of them. So the third compartment is what you're gonna use. Now dip it in there, get it a little wet and just kind of like wipe around the outside and get all like the big stuff, okay? Another nice thing to do is to get inside the trach collar itself because all of this in here gets really gunky and gross and full of mucus. So go ahead and take a wet one and kind of wipe it out really good, okay? And now we're ready to use our little ones. So we're gonna dip this in our third bucket again and then we're gonna get as close to the site as we possibly can, okay? So trying to clean the site as best we can. And then we'll use our second one. We'll dip that in the bucket and then try to clean that site as best we can. Always remembering to give them their oxygen back. Finally, it's time to put on a new dressing. So we're gonna use our fenestrated dressing, so the one with the little uh, slit in it, okay? It goes this direction. Don't try to do it this way, okay? So try to do it with the slit facing up. And you have to be really careful when you do this that you don't actually yank on the trach or pull it out or anything like that. So there it is, it's nice and in. We can apply the oxygen. and our patient's good to go. One random thing about trach patients I wanted to mention is I highly recommend wearing a mask when you're doing trach care or trach suctioning. Trach patients will usually cough on you and you don't wanna get that in your mouth or nose. So wear a mask just to keep yourself safe, just to protect yourself. I didn't do it for this video because I was afraid you wouldn't be able to hear me well enough, but in real life, I would definitely be wearing a mask. So I hope this video was helpful. Any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.